I want to cut for TV viewers, if you're a radio listener, InfoWars.com forward slash show to see the free feed to our control room. 20 years of work to be able to launch a media platform like this that reaches upwards of 20 million people a week. And under the new internet rules, regulations, and taxes that guess what they're now announcing, they will be able to basically try to squeeze this out. We've gotten big enough that they may just be able to slow down our growth, but other alternative media, other new media, they may be able to shut down, and that's what this plan is all about. Continuing, the next generation of weapons that Russia will use against the United States in World War III. They're in the midst of a sweeping modernization program, new hypersonic missiles, you name it. The Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Most Americans have heard of the infamous SS-18 Satan Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, but these are now being replaced by the Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. The Sarmat, also known as the Sarmatin, is a Russian liquid-fueled MIRV-equipped super heavy thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missile in development as of early 2015 intended to replace the previous SS-18, Satan. They also uh, have uh, Topol M's and carry extensive counter missile defense measures. Its large payload would allow for up to 10 heavy warheads or 15 lighter ones and or combination of warheads and massive amounts of countermeasures, dummy warheads, designed to defeat anti-missile systems via the MIRV system. The Sar China wouldn't, couldn't get MIRV from Russia, so they got it from, of course, Hare Clinton. But that's not treason, folks. I know. The SARMAT is expected to be ready for deployment around 2020, but other sources state that the program is being fast-tracked and it could comprise up to 80% of Russia's land-based nuclear arsenal by 2021. Well, the big threat is their submarines with cruise missiles because they pop up off the coast, fire the cruise missiles, they fly in under the radar and hit our coastal cities, which is the majority, and coastal military bases. That's really the big threat. The Bori-class nuclear submarine, even greater concern, as I was just saying, is of the Sarmat, are the new Bori-class nuclear submarines that Russia is building. The following is from an article about the launch of one of these new submarines, the Vladimir Monikov, if I pronounced that, in 2013. Russia recently launched... It's near silent submarine following several years of the development. The Bori class, dubbed the Vladimir, has a new generation nuclear reactor, can dive deeper than 1,000 feet, and carries 20 nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. Each of these ICBMs can carry 10 detachable MIRV warheads, which can re enter vehicles capable of delivering 150 kilotons yields per warhead. Mm, that'll really make you have a nice day. One kiloton in downtown Austin would destroy the entire downtown. How about 150 kilotons? Luckily, tests of the warheads only yielded 11 successes out of 20 attempts, which doesn't mean they aren't concerned. MIRVs aren't what shook World War to the foundations when they first appeared in the 70s. Let's just go on. There's page after page of this. We've got uh, the... Uh, Bulva submarine launching nuclear missiles. We've got them entering the Gulf of Mexico. Fox News AP reporting on that. The Russian nuclear-operated attack submarine armed with long-range cruise missiles operated undetected in the Gulf of Mexico for several weeks, and its travel in strategic U.S. waters was only confirmed after it left the region. The Washington Free Beacon learned. And it gets into all those submarines. Then there, then there are strategic missile trains that they move around so you can't take them out. The S-500 missile defense system, and a lot more. And, of course, people are like, well, well, we'll defeat them. Don't worry. Yeah. It's like saying, we'll blow the planet up, and they'll die first. We'll die 10 minutes later. We'll detonate 10,000 nuclear weapons. That'll show you. Yeah, and kill everybody. People in bunkers will end up freezing to death in the nuclear winter. Maybe they'll last five years. It doesn't matter. You people are sick. We'll be right back. Google controls what we buy, the news we read, and Obama policies. Now under investigation by Congress. Yeah, crank it up. I'm up here in space. 
my laser's trace. Everything you do, you think you've got private lives? Think nothing of the kind. There is no true escape. I'm watching all the time. I'm elemental. My sight is clean. I am perpetual. I keep the country free. Bull. No, we don't have a computer robot taking over that's like GoldenEye. What do you get a Patriot computer? It's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. The whole thing. I want to open the phones up specifically on what do you think is more important? The massive chemical warfare, a higher order of killing that we're under with just the chemicals in the food and water, the sperm levels plunging, just the end of humanity as we know it very, very soon. We're all just calmly enjoying ourselves. Video showing troops in Florida training to intern citizens in Fort Lauderdale. Does that matter to anybody? EAS alerts now an hour long that take over all broadcast and cable. Just an hour long, every channel just, just taking over. Just to get the public ready for it. What do you think they're gearing up for? Why do you think every cop show I tune into shows police torturing people and disappearing them to secret sites to torture them? And then, of course, the torture is always good and always for a good reason. Why do you think the government wants the police to think the good thing to do is secretly torture people? Because they're planning a purge in this country of horrible totalitarianism. And see, we've kind of gone from people denying all this to going, okay, Alex, you're right. We better shut up and go along with them. Oh, that's a great idea. That's like saying, since there's a great white shark in the Pacific Ocean, I better go find one and cut my arm off and jump in, offering it the rest of me. Giving in to tyrants is what has gotten us to this point. People say, well, I'm going to go along with it. Oh, they're going to they're going to go after you first. You're an easy target, chump. You'd be like a gazelle on the African savanna that saw a pride of lions. And it said, well, I'm going to be friendly to the lions, and they'll like me. I'm going to go lay down and show them my belly. And then they'll want to be my friend because I'm with them. I'll tell the lions where the gazelles are. I'll work with the lions. And as the little gazelle walks over, hi, lion. He's feeling kind of powerful. You're my friend. And the lion just grabs it by the throat, just rips it out. And the gazelle goes, trendy, I was trendy. As it flops around, blood spewing. It doesn't matter. You can see everything's coming to a head. All you people that love the system, just enjoy it. <laughs> Just enjoy global depression. Just enjoy the rioting, the checkpoints, the wars, just all of it. It's what you want. And quite frankly, we all deserve it. We killed 55 million. I keep saying 53 million. Uh, the numbers are up. It's, some estimates are 56 million <coughs> abortions in this country since Roe v. Wade. And hey, those aren't humans. They didn't deserve to be protected. Neither do we. We're not humans either. And that's what they're saying now. They're going, you have no free will. People aren't even people. You have no rights. Bioethics boards will decide everything. Oh, the troops are worthless after they've served. Let's just euthanize them, too. It's just, let's just not give them treatment. It's the trendy thing. I mean, as long as we say it in an NPR voice about the needs and how we've got to take care of it and about budgetary things, and it's a tough job for the ethics committees, but they're doing the right thing, and now the, the Watson computer helps them make the decision where it's not their fault that the veterans secretly don't get the health care. You know, the computer said so. It's not the Nazis' fault that the the Hollerith Watson machine of 1942s did it. You know, it, it was it, it was the machine that said do it then. And it doesn't matter, it's the exact same company with the exact same name with a high-tech system deciding who to kill now. As long as you just do it in a voice like this and go, ooh, it's very reasonable, very liberal, and just act real effeminate and go, uh, 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 then it's all cute. And then you have generals up on TV going, yeah, let's just have a bunch of bunny bags and kill a whole bunch of Russians, send in NATO troops. 
remember like six months ago, they showed the head of NATO laughing. He looked all soft for a general. And he was up there going, yeah, we've got weapons. We'll take out the Russians. They're nothing. <laughs> I mean, even if I was a tough guy, and, but I was going to get in a fight with somebody that I thought I could beat, but I knew this person could still hurt me bad, I, I wouldn't be arrogant about it. But this would be like going into a knife fight with somebody you know how to use a knife, and they got two butcher knives in each hand, and you got two butcher knives. You're just like, ha, this is really fun. Let's have this knife fight for no reason, but so a bunch of bankers can try to take over. Let's, let's do this. This is a really great idea. And it's all being done by a bunch of 